Hello, I would like to show you how to get a soft on HTC One S, and my current phone has a H boot 1.14. So I will start with the command ADB reboot. Bootloader. So I already installed all drivers. My phone is connected uh, through the micro USB cable to my laptop, and this is it. So, and I turn on the USB debugging. So when I press enter, my phone will reboot to bootloader. You can see in second uh, line it says S on. So I will show you the next slide. It's my disclaimer. I'm not responsible for any damage what you can cause for your devices following my video. Okay, so do it carefully because eventually there are some steps what you can do something wrong. Okay, so first of all, you will need to unlock your bootloader and don't forget it will raise your data. I did it already on for my phone. On the first line, it says unlocked. It means what bootloader is unlocked. Next, we're gonna flash custom recovery team win. After that, to, in order to use RAM runner, we, we will need to flash custom ROM with what has less secure kernel and the name of this custom room is Trick Droid version 10.3.2 and so next steps after that will be use RAM Runner hack or exploit okay so how to unlock bootloader you should go on the website HTC develop dev.com and you can create or sign, uh, create your account, sign in, blah blah blah, and you will have steps. So it's pretty easy. The website looks like that, and here in the middle you can see unlock bootloader. You will see something like that, and uh, you can proceed. So now we will flash custom recovery. Yeah, it says install minimal ADB in Facebook. Yes, you need to do this in order to use common line with your Android phone. And also you need to download TeamWin recovery image and you don't forget to turn on USB debugging. Okay. So let me on the next slide we will see two commands to use. I already typed IDB reboot bit loader and it reboots the phone to the fast boot. Okay, it's a current screen on there. This is a fast boot, as you can see in the red it says fast boot USB. This is it. So, next comment I will type this. Facebook space flash space recovery and after we will type the name on there. So, as you can see it's a TeamWin 2 version 2.8.11. Let's try this one. Okay. Says OK. Finished. Let's try one more time to reboot to recovery. So I press power. I choose recovery. And press power one more time. Time. Okay, as you can see, Team Win. Now, actually, we need to copy 
This is a tin wind recovery. So successful image was this one. Tin wind version 2.811. Okay. Now we need to transfer the image file to the phone. I mean the custom ROM image zip file. Now you can see it's installing drivers. I will press on skip because I already installed some drivers for the same phone, so it, I believe it's already have uh, it has these uh, drivers in uh, in the, its database. So next step, what we have here, flash custom ROM. So we need to copy ROM on the phone storage. Restart the phone into recovery mode. Go to install, find rom.zip and flash it, right? So, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, all drivers have been installed. I can open this folder. This is it, internal storage. And I just wanna find my... Trig droid. I believe I put it here. Trig droid, right? So I will copy this file. To the internal storage. As I know, for this step or for to use RAM runner, we don't need to have rooted phone. You can use rooted phone or non, not rooted, it doesn't matter for that exploit. Okay, once we copy the file on the phone, we can install that zip file and it will flash custom ROM what has not non-secure kernel. Okay, let's go on the phone, it says, so we need to press on install, just scroll down, you can see here on the bottom trick droid, so choose that file, and it says swipe to confirm flash, this is it. Seems to be done. It says zip install complete. So I press uh, okay. I, I will write cache dalvik here. Swipe to wipe back. Reboot the system. I press on reboot the system in a little while it will reboot so and it will take around one to minute uh, two minutes to show up the system. Now it will show some warnings like any kind of no warranty, 
you need, I, I, you know what are you doing, etc. Okay, but it doesn't matter for now. Here I can show you the system. In fact, this one is this room is pretty beautiful. It, it, it's, it's really similar to HTC One M7, and it has Blink Fit. I believe it's a good feature also, and also in menu here it's a, it uh, it is exactly like uh, HTC One M7. So we're gonna fix after this. I type yes one more time. So it says completed now and I will zoom in to show you the result of that what we have done. So you can see in second the line it says unlocked it means un the bootloader is unlocked and the third line it says S off. So this is what we wanted and now we are gonna check if everything is fine. If it's not, we're gonna change CID to a super CID and after that they can flash, they can use any ROM update utility and flash any ROM from any carrier. Okay, so as you can see, after I flash Trick Droid on my HTC One S, I don't have Wi-Fi MAC headers. So I will try to fix this resetting to the factory defaults. Okay, so doing this, I go to backup reset, reset the phone. I will choose erase all data, I will choose erase USB storage. So I press OK, OK, and let's see if it will fix my issue. OK, as you can see now it's in a team win recovery. And then it's wiping data.
Okay, let's see if now we have MAC address on Wi-Fi card. choose my guest account okay it says connected it's very well in fact I'm happy and I believe uh, Wi-Fi now it works properly okay here we go we can see Google works and uh, let's type anything here just to see as you can see I just type random stuff and it works this is it so enjoy Thank you for watching and please please press on like button if you like my video and I will put all additional data to downloads and etc in description. Thank you for watching.